vlog uh it's not a weekly vlog because i have not vlogged this week um it is currently friday the 29th of Fe uh, january sorry not february january uh, i didn't vlog um much this week and also there was not a weekly vlog up uh, for last week either I, I did vlog but i just kind of dropped off at the end and it's i didn't feel like uploading that um but i'll do my usual thing um my goodies twitter and instagram and anyone i mentioned in this video uh is in it's linked in the description and uh i hope you enjoy the vlog uh and don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah let's just get into the vlog um I have read quite a lot actually since I last spoke to you. I think I last said that I finished Double Cross by James Parson. Um, at least that's what I can tell that I last um, said because it's in the thumbnail of the last vlog I uploaded. Um, I think that was the last book I told you I'd finished. But I have since finished five books since then. <laughs> um, I finished Akamath, A Court of Mist and Fury. Uh, by Sergio Mas um, is on my TBR cart right now. Um, I finished that, gave it five stars, thoroughly loved it. Um, and then I read The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lupina, which is also on my <laughs> TBR cart. Um, I gave that four stars, that was really good. It was a really solid thriller, it was good. And then I read Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson, which is a sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And wow. I gave the first book five stars, but this one, if I could give it like six stars or more, I would. Because it was better than the first one, which I didn't think was possible. Um, and it got very like... It, it kind of kept you on edge a lot. It was very atmospheric. I... Wow, honestly, I think this is going to be my favourite book of the month, it is Good Girl Bad Blood. Um, honestly, it's right here. It is incredible. I love being back with Pip and Ravi and all of that. And at first you think it's just like a mystery, someone's gone missing, try to find them. But then the stakes go so high and it's like, whoa. Um, honestly it's incredible it did not suffer from second book syndrome <laughs> which usually is when the second book in the series is worse than the first one this does not suffer from that this is even better than the first one so love 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 this um and then today just today because i actually joined steph on her channel and we did some live reads and sprints um and I actually read two books. Uh, one I don't have physically, it's on my Kindle, but it was The Pale Dreamer by Samantha Shannon, um, which is the 0 0.5 book in the The Bone Season series <laughs> by Samantha Shannon. Um, I finally started that series. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to read it, but it fit in perfectly with um, Buzzwords Thon for the whole year because uh, January's word was. Um, dream so the pale dreamer just was perfect so i gave four stars really liked it and i like it enough that i'm probably going to continue with the series and because the pale dreamer was uh well at least the kindle edition anyway is about 110 pages and um, i managed to smash that out in two sprints <laughs> so uh, i went on to read the whole of josh and hazel's guide to not dating <laughs> Uh, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, I read the whole thing uh, by Christina Lauren. Um, 
I love this just as much as the Unhoneymooners. Um, I'm pretty sure it gave it four stars. It was a very high four star. Um, yeah, it's so good. Uh, Hazel is complete chaos, but I absolutely love her. Yeah. And Josh is so sweet. He's so cute. But yeah, I love, I love this. This was really good. And I love the cover. It's so pretty. I love the sunset. So yeah. It was good and then i know that's not it and um, that was all the books i finished since the last book to you as far as i'm aware <laughs> um at least that's what goodread tells me anyway uh but just now after um supper i had kind of a slightly late supper because the sprints ended about half 7 p.m so i had a late supper don't worry i did eat during the sprints as well i had like toast and stuff so it's fine um but i just read what was it 52 pages of step in a crack by james person this is a reread but i first read this when i was probably like 15 so that's more than 10 years ago that i read this um this was the first ever james person i ever read so this is what started the problem <laughs> it's not a problem i love james person but yeah i got to chapter 16 page 52 um so yeah i am gonna read more because i'm not done for tonight i've still got quite a few hours before i need to go to bed so um yeah and maybe i probably could i might want to try and get halfway the audiobook is not that long i managed to get the audiobook on audible so yeah it's not very long um and then the other plans for this weekend, other than finishing this, I uh, I do need to read I See You by Claire McIntosh. And also, don't know if it's going to happen, but I also do need to read The Assassin's Blade by Sergi Mass for Tog Along or Throne of Glass Read Along, hosted by Steph and a bunch of other people. So I do need to read that as well. And I'm pretty sure the live show for that book, uh, to discuss it, is on Sunday. So, <laughs> yeah. I do have the audiobook for this, so I should be able to get through this and the James Parson. Um, get through them both pretty fast. Because thr thrillers are usually really kind of easy to listen to. Um, and they're usually pretty fast paced, usually. Uh, at least that's what I found anyway. I always get through thrillers like at least in a day or two and then Sunday I might try and focus on the, Assass the Assassin's Blade or at least try to start it tomorrow on Saturday. Maybe. Maybe. Probably should. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I've just I've got some of my favourite biscuits. I know I always show cookies, but honestly, these trump um, cookies any day. I love Fox's Viennese biscuits. They're my favourite biscuits ever over the Maryland cookies. <laughs> They're the best biscuits ever. Um, and I'm actually probably going to go fill up my bottle of water. Yeah, stay hydrated. <laughs> I'm terrible for not, but I'm trying. So yeah, that's the plan for this weekend. To finish Step on a Crack by James Parton. I See You by Claire McIntosh. And uh, The Assassin's Blade by Sergei Mass. I was also supposed to body read The Invisible Life of Annie LaRue by Connor. And I still have not started it. And I feel really bad. Because for most of this month, I have not been in the mood for basically anything. So <laughs> it took me forever to read the first few books that I read in a month. Um, and I just, Addy literally is over 500 pages and I'm like, it's just sat there and I'm like, I know I'm going to love it when I read it, but it's a predicted five star, but I don't know. I might try and start it and maybe carry it over into February, maybe. 
or mm, yeah I mean I don't know we'll see how good it but I'll see how uh, well I managed to get through the other books that I need to read this weekend um, but yeah uh, I'm gonna go for now and I will probably talk to you tomorrow so yeah <laughs> good night <laughs> hi guys I'm sorry I've not vlogged today on Saturday um, actually, technically, it's now Sunday because it is like after one a.m. Basically, uh, I I had all the intention of vlogging, but I spent uh the first half of the day with uh my mom's, and then I spent the second half of the day after supper with uh Barb, Catherine, and Michelle on uh Google Meet. We were video chatting and doing bullet journaling um but i have finished another book i finished step in a crack by james Burton, the first in the michael bennett series um five stars but um only because it is sentimental if i had to actually read it based on the actual story um and the plot um, maybe a high three, low four star, which is bad. Um, but the only reason I'm getting it, giving it five stars is because it is the first James Parkson I ever read, and it is sentimental because my granny let me um borrow her copy, and then my mum bought me my own copy when I was twenty five on my birthday. Um, so I am giving it five stars for that reason, but just know that the, my actual rating for the story and the plot is probably, I'd say, a four star. Uh, that's still good, um, but it's not, I don't know, I still really like Michael Bennett, the main character. I did like him and his family. He has ten kids. Um, they're all adopted, so... <laughs> Yeah, but he has 10 kids um, and his wife is sick uh, right now, so yeah, sad, but um, yeah, I still love him and his family and stuff like that, um, but the actual like thriller part of it wasn't really that thrilling, uh, basically, um, he was like a negotiator with uh, some guys that were holding people hostage in a, I think it was like a church, because there was a funeral. Um, and they were basically wanting like a lot of money and stuff like that. Um, so, I don't know. It, it, it all kind of took place in the same place um, for the whole book, well, the majority of it anyway. Um, it definitely was like a four star not bad but not as amazing as I remember unfortunately but I am still going to rate it as five, five stars though um, because I have to I just have to but yeah but I have not read any of The Assassin's Blade by Sergio Mas yet or I See You by Claire McIntosh. Um, just busy most of the evening doing bullet journaling. It just, time got away from me. And um, yeah. I mean, I had fun with, uh, with Barb and all that. So yes. Um, I'm not too mad about it. I still finished a book today. I can't complain at that. Still had a good time all day. So yeah. I was going to read for a little while tonight, uh, but I ended up just watching YouTube after we finished video chat and I just never got around to reading anything. I was going to start The Assassin's Blade because uh, the live show is technically, well tonight now, since it's Sunday now, um, it's tonight um, in the evening I think. Uh, yeah, because it's for a uh, third of glass read along, and I, I've not read it. I completely forgot about it most of the month, 
until like the last week. <laughs> but um, the audiobooks, I have audiobooks for both ICU, Reckler Macintosh and the Assassin's Blade. So if I knuckle down tomorrow, I might be able to finish them. The audiobooks in the screen I listen at seems like it's doable. Um, since I listen to the Mitchett Monk speed boost. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I think the priority is the Assassin's Blade, for sure. So, yeah. Um, I know that Catherine is doing some forest sprints um, in the morning and also after lunch um, or something like that. So, Maybe it's possible, but I can't promise. Yeah, but like I said, the priority is the Assassin's Blade. So yeah, cool. I am uh, gonna go and uh, I need to get some water because I like having water uh, next to me when I'm sleeping because I get really bad dry mouth through the night. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go grab some water and then go to bed and sleep. Um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Well, technically, when I wake up today, you know what I mean. Anyway, good night. Hi guys. Um, it's now Sunday. Uh, it's about lunchtime. Um, I've just got a sandwich here and uh, some pretzels. Um, because why not? <laughs> I love the pretzels. They're so good. Um, and I did not read anything last night. Uh, after I last spoke to you. I was right, I didn't think I was going to read anything, uh, but this morning uh, Catherine was actually doing some forest sprints um, and I was, I started the Assassin's Blade by Sergio Mass and I'm on chapter 6, page 45, so yay. Uh, I actually um, accidentally slept in. Um, honestly nothing new there with lockdown, but still I wanted to be up in time for the sprint starting, but she started at 10 and I got up at 11, unfortunately. Um, so I came in for like the last sprint, but I managed 45 pages, which is great because it was a half hour sprint. So, yay. Um, so far, so good. Uh, like the characters, I can't really tell you much yet because it is only 45 pages in and it is like a new series. So I haven't really connected with the characters yet, but we'll just wait and see. Plus these are... It's like a short story collection of the, the series or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that this is the first one we needed to read for Tog Along. So we'll see. Um, but it's, so far, judging by what I've read, I like it. So that's good. There's nothing bad about it yet. Um, yeah, so that's good. <laughs> At least I don't hate it. That's a, that's, that's a bonus. Because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, but I mean, I like freaking Akatar now by Sergio Mas, so yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this is one of Suzanne Book Marvel's favorite series ever, so like one of her favorite series. So, uh, I'm worried that I'm not gonna like it as much as she does, but you can't like everything the same as everyone else, you know, it happens so. Otherwise, there would be no conversation. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to wait on my lunch. And then I think it's 3 p.m. I think it's 3 p.m. We're doing more forest sprints. So, yay! But after my lunch, I actually need to show you some books. Uh, like a haul. Because I got these last week. I did vlog it, but I obviously did not put up that vlog. So, and I got some of the books this week as gifts. So I do need to show you that um, as well because I don't have a lot for um, January. There's no point doing a January haul because there's not a lot. Uh, yeah, I still have not put on my December book haul yet and what I got for Christmas. So I might put that up in place of January's book haul because there just really isn't enough to do a book haul. Uh, there's not that many. I didn't buy much and yeah so I don't think it's really worth making a video on it so I'll just add it into this vlog 
I just like put in the title that there's a book haul. So yeah, I'll just put like weekend read vlog slash um, January book haul. Uh, I'll just add that in the title. That'll do. <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll go eat my lunch just now and then, then I'll come back and show you the books that I got in January. Yeah, cool. Good plan. I'm gonna go. I will talk to you soon. <laughs> oh no! Hi guys, it's actually the Monday morning. Um, um, I'm sorry I didn't like give you the book all last night or anything. I got carried away and I did other stuff. So, but I'm gonna do that now and then end the vlog and give you my final um wrap up of what I read this weekend. So yeah. Uh, I will do the books that um, I bought myself first and then I'll focus on the ones I got as gifts. So yeah. Amazon was doing a two for seven deal. Two for seven pound. So I got two of the deals. So I got four books. Yeah. <laughs> so I got book 10 and a living in the Skullduggery Pleasant series because I kind of need to have them for doing the read-along that I'm a co-host for. So I got the two. I was so shocked that these were on like the two for seven. So I was like, eh, yes, please. So I got the 10 and a living. Yay. And then um, I did also get 12 as well. Um, But also I needed to pick another book for the deal. So... And then for the other half of the deal, I got uh, Harrow Lake by Kat Ellis. I've seen this all over Instagram. Um, a lot of people have been talking about it. So I'm excited to read it. Woo! Yeah, I'm really excited about this. This dude is very creepy though. I'm not sure about him. but <laughs> um, Yeah, I know that when people were getting the arcs, it came in like a... I think it was like a VHS uh, case, you know, like a videotape case. Uh, it was really cool. So, but I like the yellow though. It's cool. So, yeah. And then uh, some, there was quite a lot of hardbacks marked down as well. Um, so, I actually got the Thursday Murder Club um, by Richard Osman for like £7 so i was not complaining at all so yeah so i'm so excited to uh read this uh i've seen this everywhere as well so <laughs> of course now i'll go on to the books i got as gifts in the month uh which no one ever has to buy me anything i, I say this every time but I, I do mean it you don't have to buy me anything but i really really do appreciate it if you do you know uh, no, it's so sweet. Anyway, um, I have mentioned this one before, uh, but because I'm doing the whole book haul right now, I might as well show it again, just to say thank you again. But Louisa... Ooh. Yeah, Louisa Wells um, bought me the first in the Amelia Fang series. Orange sprayed edges and everything. It's so pretty. This is a middle grade. It's a middle grade series. Uh, Amelia Fang is a vampire and she's got a little pumpkin friend called Squ is it squashy? It's squashy. <laughs> and I love pumpkins. Uh, clearly, I like pumpkins. Whoa. There you go. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to um, read this. Yay. Uh, and thank you again to Louisa for uh, getting me that. It's so sweet. Um, and then uh, Michelle over at Bookishly Shell. Um, I almost said that wrong. Um, we're kind of like... Me, Shell, uh, Barbara Brooks, Barb's Bookland, and Catherine at Catherine Reads on Twitter and Instagram, we've all kind of like become really close friends recently because we've been doing live sprints with Barb. And uh, Shell bought us all again off our wish list. It's so sweet. And oh, I'm so excited. Um, this first one, uh, 
is incredible because uh, we all found out that we're all obsessed with serial killers. So I'm not the only one anymore. <laughs> but uh, she got me the newest Christopher Berry D book. It's uh, talking with psychopaths and savages, but it's mass murders and spree killers edition. So I was so excited about this. Oh, didn't realise that it was so tall, the paperback. But yeah, oh, I think it's like American paperback size. So I don't know, but it just released this month, I think it was. I think it was this month it just released, so. I'm so excited. I love true crime <laughs> uh, and then the other book uh, I am nervous about this but excited um, is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang um, I've heard a lot of people rave about this recently I know Steph's read it um, I think Jade also read that recently in read it like kind of video um, yeah a lot of people have been reading it and Shell said this is one of her favourite trilogies. So yeah, I was going to buddy read it with Anna over the Book Dreamers Alley. Um, but I ended up actually not being able to get to it. Um, and I know that she did read it. Um, I, I think she liked it as well. I know there's a chapter in this, that uh, chapter 21, that is making a lot of people feel physically sick when they read it. Because it is about, I think it's Chinese history. And there's a lot of accurate stuff in it. And I know that there's not nice things in it. Um, so I am nervous. But I'm kind of used to reading about horrible things. So maybe I might be okay. But we'll just have to see when I get around to chapter 21. Um, yeah, we'll see. But I am excited, anyway, to read it, because I was going to pick it up eventually anyway, so now I don't have an excuse. <laughs> and then, I think it was just this week. Could have been just this week, or the end of last week. Honestly, I can't remember at this point. Um, and uh, Suzanne, <laughs> over at Book Marvel, bought me one of my most anticipated books of this year. The Burning Girls by C.G. Tudor. Oh, honestly. And I can't believe she got me the hardback. I don't think the paperback is released until later in the year, though. Um, but wow. I can't believe it. I read uh, The Chalk Man and absolutely loved it. Gave it five stars. Uh, I unfortunately DNF'd the other people uh, because there was a trigger in it that I just couldn't read. But I love her writing anyway, so I want to try her new one. Um, because I just, I love the way she like does everything. So yeah, I was really, really excited about this one. So thank you so much, Suzanne. I, I, she already picked it for me to read in February. Uh, yeah, February, since that's the start today anyway. But um, yeah. It's one of the seven books she wants me to read in February because she's picking my books for February. Uh, like I did, uh, January was Connor. So, um, February is Suzanne. She picked this one. <laughs> well, one of the books anyway. Um, and of course, also, uh, thank you so, so much to Michelle as well for these. Uh, I, I'm excited about both of them. I'm excited about all of this. But yeah, oh, I am really excited about the the Christopher Berry D though uh, yeah, I love his books, they're so good anyway um, update I did actually start I See You by Claire McIntosh <laughs> didn't get very far, I got to the first tab because I split it into seven I've just been finding that's been easier doing it that way um, I got to page 51 chapter 6 <laughs> Still 50 pages though. I'm very intrigued though. I will say that already. Very intrigued. Claire definitely knows how to hook you in straight away for sure. So yay. Um 
And then, for I did not finish the Assassin's Blade in time for the live show, unfortunately. Did my thing die? Oh, my Kindle died! Shit. Um, I don't know how far I was. I think it was... Over the 200 page mark. I know that for sure. I know it was over the 200 page mark. I do know that. But, I don't know what the actual page number is exactly but yeah so this weekend i read quite a lot actually i think i did i did want to finish i see you and the assassin's blade before midnight but it just was not gonna happen so i decided you know what instead of like panicking and rushing to try and finish it just relax and just admit and just carry them over i need to be nicer on myself and not get too annoyed at myself if I don't finish up them before the end of the month um because this is all just supposed to be for fun so yeah no uh, I haven't even updated Goodreads on the Assassin's Blade so I don't know exactly the page number um I'll have to change my Kindle but I did finish I don't know if I finished Good Girl Bad Blood in this vlog, but I did tell you I did finish it this week. So <laughs> gave it five stars, of course. Um, favorite book of the month. <laughs> uh, and then I did the live sprints on Friday with Steph, and I read The Pale Dreamer and Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, and they both got four stars. And then I did read Step on a Crack, uh, by James Patterson, and gave that. Uh, a five but I think I already said that the actual story was more like a a three high three low four I would say uh, but because of sentimental reasons I am giving it five stars uh, that's what it says on Goodreads I gave it five stars so but I think I might write a review in the review section and just explain why the five star and that it's actually <laughs> more like a, a three slash four. So I might do that at some point just so people don't get too excited, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's everything that I need to talk about. Yeah. Uh, I need to go and do some stuff downstairs. Uh, I do need to get lunch. Uh, it's probably coming up to that time. Um and now that I've actually done my February, uh, January book haul, I could put all these books on the shelves. So that's great. Uh, I don't really have a high fantasy section. I'm pretty sure this is adult fantasy. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what age range this is. But I think it's adult fantasy. Which is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I usually read YA, um, but I don't know where that's going to go on the shelves because I don't really have a section for that. Um, but yeah, I will go put these on the shelves, uh, except the ones that I need to read in February because that'll go on my TBR cart. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I am going to ask you, uh, would you like a wrap up? I struggle to make wrap up videos. I have not done them in probably a while. Oh, there's something in my hair. There's fluff in my hair. Great. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have not done a wrap up in a while and I don't know if you enjoy them or not. Because I don't tend to really watch a lot of wrap ups. I don't know if I should pick them back up again and do them again. Um, they're a bitch to edit. Uh, I don't like editing them. Uh, that's probably about the only video I don't like editing is the wrap ups. They're honestly a pain in the arse. Um, but um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like wrap ups back uh, on my channel. Uh, let me know if you do want that. Um, I might still do it for February because I do actually have a clear winner of who of what my favorite book of the month is. And I will say that in the video. I want to try and pick a favourite book of the month each month. 
and it might be easier for me to collectively put it together at the end of the year in what my like top I guess it would be top 12 because there's 12 months so yes maybe I might be able to do that it might make it easier because I actually don't know I can't limit it limit it to 12 12 books uh for 2020 because i read so many so many amazing books in 2020 um for different reasons you know i don't know i can't just pick and narrow it down so it might be easier to do it this way and just pick one book a month good plan i might do like an honorable mention every so often if i really can't decide but that's like if I really can't decide as a last resort, so I'm sorry, my skin is disgusting right now, I'm really sorry, I don't know what's going on with it, it's horrible, but let me know if you want the wrap-ups back in the comments, and for the, this video, I put a guy sprinting, or a, the, a person who's running, uh, because I did a lot of sprints this weekend, yeah, do that. Put someone running, uh, the emoji of someone running, in the comments if you watched all the way through. And if you have, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> and um, hope you did enjoy my good race for Instagram. And anyone I'm out here is in the description as always. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!